So business case two for all of you direct sellers out there. We've got a, a company out there, over 500,000 distributors. As you can see by that first bullet point, things that you are all familiar with, right? What do we want to affect? What performance? We want to improve retention. We want to improve engagement. We want to increase sales. So that's what we're talking about here, how we went from multiple, multiple systems that I have to go to and look at, whether it's a back office, a CRM system, a document repository, whatever that might be, how do we bring that together and help me as that independent consultant to be successful? But more importantly, here again, if you can't measure it, Dan's talking about data, he's talking about numbers, he's talking about if you can't measure those results, you shouldn't be utilizing whatever the platform is that you're utilizing today because you are running blind. So, Dan, any other comments on, I mean, you know this business. Uh, no, I think it's uh, going right into takeaways, I think is going to be critical. So okay. I'll let you go ahead. Yeah, I think one of the things that, again, when we're talking about direct sales, we're talking about frontline employees, you know, what we're constantly talking about is how can we get people to do the right action in what short period of time they have available? Um, you know, whether it's my own personal time or I'm being paid for that time. We, we know that that time is, is limited with all the activities that people have to do. So um, smart to do activities are absolutely critical for us when, um, you know, when we're going throughout our day. So if I'm going to spend time on something, is what I'm going to spend time on, is that worth it to me and is it worth it to the company? And in a lot of cases, how much time is lost because people are trying to figure out what to do, um, you know, and by supporting them with these smart to-do activities just in the right time for them, one, we get to point them in the right direction on what they have to do and save them time for having to figure it out. But but two is, is that because you have that single user experience, you're now providing them that activity, possibly that training that's necessary to do that activity and the contact in which to do that activity with all in one seamless, uh, one seamless approach. Um, Again, I think that kind of talks to the smart notifications. But um, you know, you make a, you make a good point there. It's that just in time. So think about it. If I'm a, a retail frontline employee, it's in the flow of my business day. I see Rich walking in. I remember his face. What it, you know, it's that kind of thing. For you direct sellers out there, I will call it those in between moments of the day. Right? You've got somebody who is probably not working for you full-time. You're lucky if you get a couple hours a week out of them. How can we optimize that time to help them be successful in their business? Dan, you all talk about cognitive overload, right? That's, that's one of your pet phrases. So that, you know, how is it as simple as possible for me to be successful either in my business or in my occupation out there. Absolutely, Rich. I think that's a really good point. Um, and, and so I think this kind of calls it out. More, this this uh, pep and action slide here is, is that maybe we're incentivizing somebody, again, congratulating them, help encouraging them to do something else. So uh, this ties in with a with an incentive program that, that's operating and, and it gives them a quick alert. Hey, this is where you're at, congratulations. And then takes them right to the place where they can see that visualization of where they're at. And then from that point onto the actions to help them increase their, their activities. Yeah, and as we're looking at that leaderboard, that leaderboard can portray anything, right? You may be competing against people for my um, average quality score in a call center. It might be the points I'm acquiring by learning more about the product. It may be the amount of sales I'm actually selling this month. So here again, what are those behaviors we want to affect? That's what a performance enablement platform allows you to do. Mm -hmm.